Hey guys, I'm Jeremy Abbott and I'm so excited to be this week's guest judge. Um, I thought to begin with, you all were incredible. Every last one of you gave me something that was new, that was innovative, that was different, that was something I've never seen before in, in skating and it really excited me. Um, unfortunately, as a judge, I do have to be detailed and I do have to critique the work as I saw it. So I don't want you guys to take this um, personally, but just as, as how I, I viewed your work um, as a spectator, um, for better or for worse, right or wrong, um, these are just my, my overall impressions and opinions um, for week one. And honestly, for week one, this was absolutely incredible and so strong, and you guys should all be so, so, so proud of yourselves. So let's kick it off with Ola. So Ola, I loved how deliberately you used the space or, or the lack of space. Um, you did this very deliberately and it was, it was really well done. Um, I enjoyed your overall concept, uh, but you did lose me a little bit in the middle of your narrative. I felt the beginning and the ending were very strong and I felt like you lost your voice just a little bit through the middle. Um, but otherwise, I really, really, I thought it was great. It was really fantastic, great job. Uh, next is Kata, uh, and I'm so sorry if I'm pronouncing any of your names incorrectly. Um, send me angry letters, be mad. I, I'm aware that I'm probably butchering all of you, and I'm so sorry. Um, anyway, moving forward. Uh, your, use of, your use of shape and movement were incredible. I loved your, well, floor, floor movement, your, I, the movement that you did on the ice, that you really, how you used your body and, and, and both of the bodies statically. Um, I felt you created something that I haven't seen on the ice before. However, I did feel there was a lack of skating and a lack of the skating vocabulary, um, which is very unique to what we do and kind of allows us a different, um, a different medium and a different freedom that normal dance doesn't allow for. So I would have loved to see you push like this, the, the use of skating and that vocabulary just a little bit more. Um, yeah, basically, uh, I just, I want to see you innovate what skating is and not just, not just movement and dance. Cause it was absolutely incredible from that aspect. Um, but there is definitely something unique to skating and I want to see you bring that a little bit more into your work moving forward. But otherwise, honestly, like mind blown. It was so beautifully done and, and, and innovative and creative and I loved it. Great job. Um, <coughs> next is Maddie. Um, Maddie, I loved, I absolutely loved your concept. Um, for me, you had the strongest point of view and the strongest concept and I really connected the easiest with yours. Um, you know, the, the music editing, the concept, the, the use of space, all of that was phenomenal. Um, I do wish that you had spent a little more time um, flushing out your concept and your ideas. Um, I thought it was so, like, I thought it was so well done. I just, I would have loved to have seen you push it a little harder and a little further. Um, I felt it could have been a very, like, radical feminist piece um, on how women are used to fuel the success of men uh, at the detriment to their own happiness. Um, and maybe I'm way off base here. Maybe that wasn't your concept or idea at all, but, like, from listening to the the vocals and how you layered them and how you stacked them. Like that was the immediate like connection and emotion that I got from it. Um, and I felt that the movement, the, the, the movement fell just a little, a little short of the conceptual idea. Um, so I would have loved if you could have like, not, I, I understand that this is a competition and you're given only a certain amount of time to develop these ideas. And honestly, like you blew my mind. Um, so maybe moving, like moving forward after this is done, like if you can, if you can take this piece and rework it and just push your, your concept, um, and push your narrative just a little bit further through the movement and, and to make it something even more spectacular than it already was. I think that that you could create 
an absolute masterpiece through through this concept. Um, so I encourage you to go forward and do that. Uh, great job. Um, Sonia, hi. <laughs> I, I loved the composition of this piece and the physicality and characterization. Honestly, like your character and your, your physicality were so clear, your movements. I understood exactly what you were doing and exactly what you're going for. And I absolutely loved it. Um, did I think it was the most innovative piece? No, I, I've seen the puppet and the puppet master done many, many, many times. Uh, so I didn't think it was the most creative or the most innovative. However, I did think that you took this concept and you elevated it and you did it so well. So that's the thing, like if you're gonna take something that uh, somebody else has done, you gotta do it better. And I felt that you've done it to an incredible degree and you should be very proud of yourself. Good job. Uh, Karen, hi, Karen. Um, I loved your use of shape. I loved the connection between your skaters and I enjoyed your piece. It was fun to watch. I was very fun to watch. Um, but I would have loved to see you push your concept even further, flush out your narrative a little more and push your own boundaries. I felt that it was very well done and very well executed, but I felt it was like a little safe. Like you were like, I can do this and this is what I'm good at and I'm gonna stay here. And I wanna see you start to, because this is a competition, um, I wanna see you push yourself, push your boundaries, push your ideas just a little bit further. Um, as a piece overall, it was very, very well executed, very well done. Um, but I felt like you could have just pushed a little bit harder. But again, phenomenal, great. All of you, like I can't say enough about every single one of you. You all have been incredible. Um, and moving on to last but not least, Jacqueline or Jacqueline or however you pronounce it. And I'm so, I'm so sorry. I told you I'm gonna butcher all of you. Um, so Jacqueline or Jacqueline, um, I, <laughs> I have to say, I loved your use of the plexiglass. Um, you really gave us like this two-dimensional cubist moment, um, like on your little canvas, like hanging from the wall. And I <laughs> adored that. I thought it was so, so cute and so well done. Um, and I love, I really did love your unique, uh, your use of our unique vocabulary. Like skating has a very unique movement vocabulary and um, I thought you used a lot of it. Um, and the moments that you created it with it were like, were very cool and very special. Um, I would challenge you again, moving forward, um, just to push, push your narrative a little more. Like when I was watching, I was like, I felt like it was movement for the sake of movement, which there's absolutely, there's nothing wrong with. Um, I, I do a lot of that myself. I love just being inspired by music and moving. Um, but I felt like the challenge was a very conceptual idea and, and to kind of have a narrative that went along with the emotion of your painting that you chose. And I didn't really feel the connection necessarily between your painting and your movement. As much as I loved your movement and I loved your ideas, I didn't feel that connection and that narrative. Um, so that's where I challenge you moving forward to just connect a little stronger with what the concept, like the concept of the challenges are. Um, because I thought your movement was great. I thought your use of the skating vocabulary was great. I just felt like that, that narrative or that concept was a little bit, a little bit weaker. Um, just in terms of the challenge itself. Um, as a piece, great. I loved it. I loved watching it. I enjoyed watching it. I wanted to see more of it. Um, but I did feel that uh, you could have just taken the concept and the narrative just a little bit further and made it a little bit more clear to your audience. Um, otherwise, again, I, I have like, I feel bad critiquing each one of you because all of these were very well done, very innovative, very creative, very cool, very fun. I enjoyed watching every last one of them. Um, but moving forward, I think each and every one of you, I challenge all of you, I challenge all every last one of you to push the skating aspect a little bit further. You guys have amazing movement. You guys have amazing ideas. You all are super, super creative. Now I wanna see you take what is unique about skating and change that. I wanna see you take these, um, 
these concepts and take these movements and take these ideas that you have to push the boundaries of what skating is and to push that vocabulary and really create something not that's, that's not just dance, there's not just movement, but like that is skating based and that you create these ideas around the concept of edge, of glide, of curve, of turn, um, and really use the vocabulary of, of skating to innovate your movement and to innovate your, your, your style and your concept. I, I wanna see a little bit more from all of you of that connection to skating. Um, because what you've all done is beautiful and you've shown an absolute mastery of concept and, and of style and of movement. Um, now I just want to see how you can push the boundaries of skating itself within these parameters. So overall, I bow to every one of you. You are all phenomenal and I cannot wait to see how you progress throughout this competition. Congratulations all of you. Um, my mind is blown and you, you all are amazing. Mwah!